guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena. If you guys are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because you do not want to miss out. I post new videos every Friday for you guys, so make sure you guys don't miss that. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Jaw Breaker Palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And I also have one of the Velour Lipstick from the collection to test out as well. This uni carton is just absolutely stunning. Like, I love these colors so much. It's just absolutely stunning. And then on the back, you do have all the ingredients listed. And Jeffree Star Cosmetics is, of course, cruelty free and vegan, which is another reason why I just love the brand so much. It's because you don't have to worry or nitpick to see which products are or aren't. They are just all cruelty free and vegan. So I think that's pretty dang awesome. All right, so I'm just gonna read the detailing off the website. I did purchase mine off Morphe rather than the Jeffree Star Cosmetics website just because it was sold out there versus Morphe, like Morphe had it. So that's why I bought it from Morphe. But the palette does retail for $58, which is pretty reasonable considering like the pan size and everything and you get 24 shades in this palette on top of it being cruelty free and vegan. I'm gonna go ahead and read the description for you guys real quick. It says, say hello to our brightest palette we've ever released. The Jawbreaker palette is our take on a rainbow color story including 24 bright and iconic eyeshadows and pressed pigment. With the same intensity pigmented formulation as our previous palettes, Jawbreaker is filled with blendable matte blinding shimmers and silky metallics. Alright, so that's about all it says on the website. Alright, so I'm just going to go through each shade, say the name, and then do the swatch on my arm so you guys can see everything. I'm going to go in with Virgin right here. It's just this nice white, just straight up white shade in the palette. And if you swatch it, it's where I'm so pale. We have Good Morning right here, which is like a nice pale, pale pink. And this is like a perfect transition shade for when you're wanting to use pinks. Or it, you can just, it's a perfect transition shade as well, in general. Or at least for my shade. And so, there is Good Morning. Sorry if my sh swatching is a little poor. And then we're going to go into Bubblegum, which is this nice, bright, vivid pink. And then we're going to go into the shade Wow, which is this nice, bright sunflower yellow. So we're just going to go ahead and swatch that. That's literally Wow. Like, it's so... I've just been really into yellow a lot lately. The next shade on here is called Suck. And it's kind of like a vivid orange. You would say. That is very, very bright. The next shade we're going to go into is called Licorice. And this is more of a, like a dark deepened red. I'm just going to go ahead and swatch that for you guys. The next shade we're going to go into is called Cute and it's just nice mint kind of bluish green color. And this is the shade that I have on my eyes right now. And right next to that is called Fuck which is kind of like um almost like a salmon -y bright pink but not too salmon-y. That's the best way for me to describe it. Alright, and then the following shade is called Gumdrop, which is this nice lavender purple. And I really do love this shade a lot. It's just so pretty. And this is also what I have like underneath my lash line. The next shade on here is a shimmer shade and I also have this on my inner corner right now and it's just absolutely stunning. This is one of my favorite shades in here. It's kind of like the chrysanthemum lip that I have right on my lips right now, but in a shadow. And that's probably why I love it so much, but it's called Snack. And they're just so creamy. Like the formula is so creamy. I'm just gonna swatch that right here. And then right next to that shade, we have Brain Freeze, which is this nice bright pop of a sky blue 
like a neon sky blue. It's very, like I said, it's very bright. I almost went in with that shade on my eyes today. And then I was like, this is too similar to the last look I did, that I did with this palette. So that's why I went with the mint green type of vibe. The last shade in the second row is called Jawbreaker. And it's kind of more like a golden... It's another shimmer shimmer shadow. It's white, but it has a lot of golden reflect in it. Alright, I just moved to the other side because my arm ran out of swatch spaces. So we're just going to go ahead and do the last two rows that's on here. So the next shade in this palette is called And What. And it's kind of a, um, it's kind of similar to the shade Licorice that was up here. But it's a shimmer shade. Wow, look at that. That's insane. Okay, so the next shade on here is called Orange Juice. And it's just kind of like a deepish orange shimmer shade again. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch that. What the fuck? That's insane. I guess you would call it a metallic shade, but shimmer metallics. Are shimmer and metallics the same thing? I feel so stupid. I've been calling these shimmers when they're metallic shades. I haven't had any coffee today, guys, so my brain's not, like, functioning properly. But yeah, I'm sorry. These are metallic shades, not shimmer shades. And then the next shade on here is called Sour, and it's just this really nice bright green. It's really cool. Kind of like a sour apple. The next shade on here is called Soak, and it's this really bright royal blue. I used this shade in the look that I did the other day, and it's just really, really beautiful. And then right next to that blue is called Raspberry, and it's just a really nice deep burgundy color. And I really do love me some burgundy, like especially in the fall time. But I will wear burgundy all year long. Like it's a really good color. Right next to raspberry is called cotton candy. And it's this really nice metallic shade. I got it right this time. It's a metallic shade. And it's nice, a nice hot pink metallic. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch that real quick. Alright, picking this up, it's a little bit more frail than the other metallic shades. But, you guys, do you see this color payoff? That is insane. And I'm okay with shadows being kind of dusty. I guess, dusty, soft. I guess that's... That's the best way for me to describe it, is when they're a bit dusty... I'm okay with that because that way I know there's some pigmentation in there and it's like a creamy dusty versus if it was like a dry dusty and there was no pigmentation then I'd be a bit concerned but this is like a creamy dusty. I don't know if that's the best way for me to put it but that's how my brain is functioning right now. But the pigmentation is absolutely there. Like do you see this? Do you see that? These metallic shades are insane. Fallout. I'm over here calling it dusty when it's called fallout. This is how my brain functions when I have had absolutely no coffee for the day. Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? So, moving on to the last row, we have Lemon Drop right here, which is another metallic shade. And it's so beautiful. Again, it has a bit of, like, dusty... And then right next to Lemon Drop is called Bite Me, and it's this nice dark deep purple, and it's also a metallic shade. Like, wow. And we're just going to go ahead and swatch that. Like I said, I'm really sorry for the horrible swatches, you guys. Right next to that purple, we have this shade right here called Cherry Wet, which is a more vivid red 
than licorice because licorice was more deeper but this is a more bright red kind of like cherry which is why it's called cherry but probably <laughs> wow i'm so stupid and then the next shade on here is called tasty and it's just nice beautiful brown i love a good brown and this is that's definitely a good brown. It's kind of like a um, hot cocoa. All right, moving on to the second to last shade is called Cone. Kind of like a waffle cone would be the best tone to like visualize. So I'm going to go ahead and put that next to Tasty. And you can really see like the pigmentation over my tattoos too. So that's really cool. And then the last and final shade on here is called Delicious. I used this for the look that I did the other day and a little bit today. And it's just this nice navy blue. And I'm just going to go ahead and swatch it. It's just like a really nice deep navy blue. It almost looks black on the camera, but I promise it's navy blue. Alright, again, I just want to really apologize for the horrible swatches. And I've just had so many brain farts during this video, if you guys haven't noticed already. Like I've mentioned, I have not had coffee at all today, so my brain isn't functioning properly. Anyways, I definitely give this palette a 10 out of 10. It's just absolutely... The color choicing, like picking the shades out, was absolutely stunning. Like these are shades that I gravitate towards most versus like the standard colors. Like a standard red, a standard blue, a standard yellow. Like I like these more bright vivid fun colors over the standard colors i think they did a really amazing job with the color story of this palette and it retails for 58 dollars which is not horrible because you really are getting what you pay for and this is going to last you a long time because the pants are a little bit deeper than standard eyeshadows so you got to remember that too you're getting a little bit more product on top of it being cruelty free and vegan like i said i've never actually legit tried a Jeffree Star palette before so this is the first time for me and I just I absolutely love the formula and everything it's just it's so buttery and rich and creamy and the metallic shades are just perfection like it's the right amount of creamy consistency for the metallics to be like silky which is what I really enjoy in a metallic shade and these literally blend so easy like the mattes they blend so well, you guys. It's insane. And I also got a liquid lipstick as well from this collection. And this is in the shade No Fence, which is this bright neon yellow green. Is the best way for me to describe it. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys real quick. Just on the back of my hand. So you guys can see. It's kind of like an alien type green. It's really cool. I used it for the last look I did. I used like the blue and blues and greens in this palette and then I use this as a lipstick and it turned out really cool. I even use this as a detailed liner from that look. If you guys have seen the post then you guys will know what I'm talking about but I absolutely love the formulation and everything of the liquid lipsticks and the doe foot like the doe foot applicator it's just so easy like if you see it's like a little boot it makes it so much easier to apply the liquid lip for me Versus like other ones like it doesn't have that little like dip for it to like catch around my lip if that makes any sense This well, this is the only liquid lip that I've seen the doe foot like this It just makes it so much easier for me to apply my lipstick because I have enough trouble as it is So I think that's really cool This wraps it up for the jawbreaker palette review and I really hope you guys did enjoy my opinion on this palette I just think it's an overall great palette and I'm I've honestly just looking at it I see so much inspiration looking at these shades like there's a lot of looks that you can create with this palette it's ridiculous the inspiration that comes out of this so I'm gonna be using this for the next couple months just creating some really cool looks but I would honestly recommend this palette if you're looking for something fun to play with and the formula is easy to blend I think this would be a perfect palette for you but I do hope that you guys really enjoyed this video if you guys want to see how to achieve this unicorn inspired look make sure to stay tuned for next week's video and hit that subscribe button down below so that you do not miss next week's video 
on this look or any other future content. I do post every Friday for you guys, so make sure you guys subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you guys are notified. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.